peekaboo, peeka, 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 tea party. Tea parties are always a good idea. Now, this is a girl named Agnes. She is new. She has just moved, and she is going to a new school, and she wants to make some friends, so she decides to have a tea party and invite a bunch of girls over. Things don't go quite the way she planned. Hmm. Now, in this book, there are pages that don't have any words, so we have to look really carefully at the pictures. Is that a deal, friends? Is that a deal? The title says plus one. That means when she sends the invitations out, she writes plus one. That means every friend that's invited can bring another friend. What a good idea. This book was written and illustrated by John Hare. This book was published by Margaret Ferguson Books. Here we go, friends. Agnes was new to town and wanted to make friends, so she invited some girls in her class to a fancy tea party. You, plus one, are invited to a fancy tea party. As soon as Agnes got home from school, she started getting ready for the guest. Knock, knock. That must be the girls I invited over, thought Agnes. It wasn't. Hi, my name is Dave. I live next door and I'm here for the tea party. Agnes didn't want this strange kid at her tea party. The invitation says plus one. That means you need to bring a friend, said Agnes, and since you don't have a friend with you, goodbye. Knock, knock. For my plus one, I would like to introduce you to my esteemed friend, Pierre of the North Esquire, said Dave. Honk, 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 said Pierre. Your friend is too loud, said Agnes, and she closed the door. Knock, knock. Uh, this is my friend Fred, said Dave. He's more of a thinker than a talker. Hmm, said Agnes. Sorry, but I'm going to have to say no. Your friend seems a bit prickly. Knock, knock. Uh, this smooth fellow is my friend, Dr. Scaly Wiggles, said Dave. I met the good doctor while looking for bugs under rocks. Is that a snake? asked Agnes. No, actually, he's a legless lizard, said Dave. The difference is Agnes shut the door. Knock, knock. That better not be Dave again, thought Agnes. Uh, this is a snake, said Dave. Agnes slammed the door. No cold-blooded guest. Knock, knock. And this is my mom, said Dave. She gives great hugs, makes amazing French toast, and will let me win at tag. Impressive, said Agnes, but... No grown-ups. Knock, knock. Guess who, said Dave. Allow me to present Captain Rufus and Admiral Angie, protectors of the high seas. Ooh, puppies, come right in. Not you, said Agnes. Wait, knock, 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 said Dave from the other side of the door. You should know that they're not housebroken. Agnes put the puppies outside. I was just wondering, said Agnes, if my friend and I could play tag with you and your friends. 
the unusual group of friends huddled up. Honk, 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 said Pierre. Pierre wants to know what your friend's name is, said Dave. This is the Honorable Justice Matilda Bearclaw III, said Agnes. Well, your honor, said Dave. You're it! The girls Agnes had invited over caught Justice Matilda Bearclaw the third. Sorry we didn't get here sooner. We had soccer practice, said the girl. Is it too late for tea? It's never too late for tea, said Agnes. Honk, said Pierre. you're invited, Pierre, said Agnes, and bring our friends. I like that story. Oh, Agnes, you might have missed out on all that fun. Plus one. I miss you, friends. Mwah.